Hey everyone, so I think I finally have our audio problem solved. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run you through uh, what we have as far as equipment, microphones, sound mixers, what we have connected to our computer that's allowing us to provide you with our audio commentary. For starters, we have a condenser mic. Uh, the one we have, we have two NW700 condenser mics that are about $30 a microphone. Good to start out with when you're upgrading your audio. Not the best in the world, though beware. And if you read some of the reviews, they do cause static sometimes. Only sometimes. We have three total, and one of the three was contributing to the static problem. Next up, we have the Behringer Xenix 802. It does not have a way to connect to your computer via USB, which was dumb on our part, which is why we went through all this. But I digress. We used this, the U control. I can't read those numbers from here. From Behringer to hook it up to our computer and that worked but that's what also what was contributing greatly to the static in the background of our videos and so I went to a friend of mine who own runs a guitars and more in my hometown of Coleman Alabama and I was talking to him about microphones because I was convinced it was the microphones and he actually suggested to me the Scarlett 2i2 Focusrite audio interface and so far it has worked beautifully I just couldn't figure out how to use it by itself to do our audio, but we already had the mixer, so I wasn't really going to figure it out, because we have the mixer. All I needed were the cables, which are these, right here, these cables right there. They are quarter inch male to male dual cables. I think I said that right. I probably didn't, but whatever. There's a link for you to find them in the description because it, it took me quite a while to find them. Anyway, I think the rest of this is pretty basic. You use these cables to hook your Behringer sound mixer up to your Scarlett Focusrite or audio interface. And then you can plug your mics back into your mixer and you can tinker around with all the gain and stuff until you find the sweet spot which takes forever when you don't know what you're doing. Guys, that's like two hours of my life I'm never gonna get back. Let's hope it's worth it! But, anywho, listen, uh, if you live near or around or in the Coleman area, you're interested in doing YouTube, podcasts, anything involving audio and a microphone, oh boy, instead of doing what we did and diving in head first and trying to do all the research on your own, Take a minute and visit Guitars and More in Coleman because this is the guy that helped me finally figure out what my audio problem was and helped me find all of the right thing, everything that I needed to do this the right way. To give you the best audio I could give you. To make sure you got great videos and he really knows what he's talking about. He's not going to try to sell you something you don't need or you can't afford. He will help you with any problem you have, and really, if you want to go into this, it's worth at least giving him a call. It's a little out of the way for me to shop there. It's a lot out of the way. But I, I do intend, like, from now on, at least giving him a call when I have questions, or, you know, if I'm down visiting family, I'm going to stop by. I trust this guy. And if you're interested in this, then there is a link to the website that has uh, numbers and stuff and, and ways to get in touch with him. If you're interested, I'm doing a little shout out for him since he went out of his way to help me out. Yeah, he, like I said, great guy. Really knows what he's talking about. So if you're interested in like, a, like I said, YouTube, podcast, whatever, you know, tickles your particular fancy, give him a call and tell him that the Super Salty Gamer sent you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.